Did you know that you could have robots in your body in the near future? They would mainly be used for medical purposes and as a substitute for painful injections. They have some dangerous threats, however. Join me today to talk about how dangerous nanobots can be and if they can be executed perfectly. Let's go! Nanotechnology You might be aware of artificial intelligence robots performing various functions, such as lifting boxes, working in factories, etc. What you might not be aware of is that sooner than later, there could be some robots operating in your body. Those are a bit different from the everyday robots you know. These nanobots are produced using nanotechnology. What is nanotechnology in the first place? According to the National Nanotechnology Initiative, nanotechnology is science, engineering, and technology conducted at the nanoscale, which is about 1 to 100 nanometers. Nanometers are so tiny to the extent that you'll need magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, or similar technology to see them. For example, a regular sheet of paper is about 100,000 nanobots thick. A human hair is about 800,000 nanobots thick, and one inch is the same width as about 25,400,000 nanobots. So, a single nanobot is about 0 0.000000093 inches. They are specially built with legs to allow them to move in different directions, either linearly or circularly. But how did they find their way through the complex organs in the human body to deliver medications to specific tissues? If you want to find out, then keep watching. For years, the idea of nanobots in the body of a human was nothing more than just a scientific conception. However, after being used publicly by an American physicist, Richard Feynman, in 1959 in a popular lecture titled, There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom, the term has since gained much popularity. Eric Drexler also had a part to play. In his book Engines of Creation, he talked about molecular robots being programmed to perform specific health functions in the human body. Since then, the idea of nanobots has significantly advanced, with IGN News reporting about working nanobots in animals. Researchers from the University of California, San Diego recently announced that they were successful in their attempts to administer drugs to live mice using nanobots. According to the BBC, this is the first time nanobots have been used inside of a living animal, in case there was any confusion about the fact that Metal Gear Solid never actually happened. Of course, nanobots will offer many health benefits. But did you know that hackers could use these robots to control your body? You don't want to miss knowing how your body could be used against you. Watch the video till the end. We will talk about that soon. Take a second to subscribe to our channel. It is the best place for all your nanotechnology content. Applications of Nanobots Nanobots will offer various benefits, ranging from environmental protection and military benefits, and can even help promote agriculture. However, they will mainly be applied for medical purposes. For example, nanobots could function as substitutes for red blood cells. Scientists intend to produce an artificial red blood cell that can transport oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body. This is known as respirocytes. In an emergent situation where a patient struggles to breathe, the respirocyte nanorobot could function as a substitute that can be injected to supply the needed respiratory gases to keep the patient alive until he is stable. The respirocyte size is about six times smaller than normal red blood cells, making it more efficient to supply tissues with oxygen. It carries oxygen about 236 times better than red blood cells. Another type of nanobot is clodocytes. These are intended to function as artificial platelets to prevent excessive bleeding. Scientists believe these clodocytes are 10,000 times more effective than natural platelets. It can also be used for precision treatment, especially for cancer and tumors. For instance, when this robot is inserted into one's body, it will function like a white blood cell, constantly looking for signs of possible tumors or cancer cells. When identified, these nanorobots will release nanoparticles that will stop the growth of cancer cells. Lastly, nanorobots can be used to transmit medications. It can send specific medications to targeted cells, leaving healthy ones untouched. They can be used for diagnostics, painless eye treatment, fighting cancer and gout, and even collecting brain data. The benefits of nanorobots are limitless, but the main question is, can they be executed perfectly without any consequences? I'm equally eager to know about that. We can answer that in the later part of the video. Although the first nanobots for medical applications are yet to be produced, nanobots can be detrimental to human health. Let's see how. Dangers of nanobots. The potential benefits of nanobots are mind-blowing. But what if they get out of hand? To what extent will it affect humans? Nanobots can lead to allergic reactions. The possibility of using nanobots to treat diseases in the human body is closer than you might think. There's also a possibility of inserting a nanobot medicine wrongly. Such a situation could lead to allergic reactions and other severe repercussions like lung diseases. Again, nanobots are built to perform specific tasks in the human body. As such, they can maneuver their way around non-targeted organs. Due to this, some nanobots may find their way around the immune system's T-cells, which could again lead to serious health consequences. Nanobots might also trespass the blood-brain barrier, BBB, 
According to the American Society for Microbiology, the BBB functions as a roadblock to microorganisms, such as bacteria, fungi, viruses, or parasites, that may be circulating in the bloodstream. As a result, it regulates the entry of microorganisms into the central nervous system CNS. However, a possible situation where a nanobot beats the BBB and enters the CNS could result in brain damage. Aside from the human body, nanobots can be used to produce targeting military weapons that can be used for mass destruction. According to the Grey Goo theory, there's even a possibility of an apocalypse. This is where self-replicating nanobots can multiply into huge numbers and consume all the biomass on Earth. This is, however, not likely, because self-replicating robots are yet to be produced. How Nanobots Work Much has been said about nanobots performing various medical purposes in the human body, including targeting specific tissues. But how exactly will they navigate their ways through the different organs in the human body? They can do so in two ways external control or internal slash onboard navigation. With external control, doctors will have to depend on various means, such as using ultrasonic signals to detect nanobots' movements using MRI, radioactive dye, x-rays, microwaves, or even heat. Using special software or tools, these external navigation methods will track signals radiating from inserted nanobots. However, this method makes using nanobots quite risky, since inserted nanobots could easily be hacked. For internal navigation, nanobots will be directed by the movement of specific chemicals in the body to reach their target location. This is quite complex as compared to external navigation. Can nanobots be executed perfectly? Despite their promising potential, there are some lapses. Firstly, malfunctioning nanobots can accumulate in human organs because the human body naturally has no way to break these nanobots down or recycle them. This could lead to heart and lung diseases. There's also a security threat. Nanobots in the human body are monitored and controlled from a computing device. This makes it possible to be hacked. In such a situation, if the hacker's demands are not met, such hackers could use the inserted nanobots against the host's body. A popular YouTube channel, The Odd Side, further explains. According to various information security experts, these nanobots could be easily hacked. It's bad enough when someone hacks into your computer and steals your personal information. But what happens when someone hacks into your mind? Ransomware attacks today are rampant. In an age of nanotechnology, these hackers could threaten to use nanobots to destroy the victim's body if they didn't hand over all of their money. In what ways do you think these lapses can be avoided? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Taking cues from how nanobots will change applications of medicine, there is no doubt that the Earth will not be the same as we have now in a couple of decades. Watch our video on the future of Earth, visualizing the world 1,000 years from now to have an idea of the changing Earth. And don't forget to share it with all your friends. Have an excellent time watching, and see you in the following video. Bye!